Today we are going to dive into mobile camera and app settings with some simple must know tips which in a big way should elevate your mobile photo game to next level. Don't miss to watch the video till the end. We are going to start with the mobile camera app. Make sure to enable these settings for best results. Note that the layout of this may be different with different brands but you will find these settings all the same. Make sure the ratio is set to 4 inch to 3 crop which is the maximum resolution of the camera sensor. Anything other than this will result in a cropped image. Make sure to switch on the grid lines which makes it easier for composition of an image. Normally there are 3x3 which is also called rule of third ratio, 4x4 and golden ratio. You can start with enabling 3x3. This is a guideline for the composition that places the main subject of your photo along the left or the right third of the image. This generally leads to well composed shots. Also you can switch on exposure control as this helps in avoiding over exposure of images and also avoid losing details. By chance if you missed using these settings especially the grid lines, you can use the apps to correct the composition. I'll be using this example which by the way looks good but you can easily turn this to a rule of third composition with subject placed on the right third of the image. Using Snapseed app here, you can go to crop menu, making sure the whole image is in the crop area, then using the free crop option or you can use the original crop too. Just drag and you start seeing the 3x3 grid lines and then just need to place the right third line on the main subject. With the sun facing the subject, this looks a lot better in my opinion. You can do similar crop in Lightroom app too. Going to the crop menu and with custom option enabled, cropping the image gives you 3x3 grid lines and you can crop accordingly. Sometimes if you don't have much time while clicking photos, you can end up with these poorly aligned outputs. To correct it, you can use perspective tool in Snapseed. You have four options but with the tilt option, you just need to drag top to bottom to rightly align this lighthouse which now looks far better than the original. You have rotate option too. Just will rotate to level it a bit. You have similar but far more advanced tools in Lightroom app. In this photo, the inner lines of this ancient gate are not aligned properly. In the crop menu, you can tick on the pencil icon to open geometry tools. You can try these sliders which could make this easy. For more perfect alignment, you should try guided option. You can draw guided lines, should be minimum 2 by drawing on the slanted lines of the image. The result makes the lines parallel. You can also add third line at top or bottom to level the base. The main advantage here in Lightroom is. You can always come back and edit these lines if necessary. Of course, you start seeing empty areas after changing the perspective. You can crop it out to get a nice geometrical output. Another example on this slightly slanted perspective of Petra. We'll use the same guides to correct this too. Draw the lines on where it would be parallel in real life 
and you can see the result here. Cropping to get this output. There is one quite useful tip in Lightroom to get maximum brightness without losing details. You can use histogram too, but here in the light menu I will be using the whites and black sliders which affects the brightest and darkest parts of the image respectively. If you swipe the white slider with one finger, you cannot notice how bright the brightest parts are turning into. And you may start losing details there too. The tip here is to use two fingers to swipe. As you swipe the white slider towards right, you can see the whole image is covered in black. As you move more towards right, you start seeing spots on the image which basically tells that these parts are getting overexposed and start losing details. So just stop the slide before you start seeing the spots and you are in control of the exposure of the image. This works the same way on black slider too. The last but not the least, the most important setting starting here in Lightroom app. Make sure the settings while exporting is set to maximum to not lose any details or resolution from the current state of the image. Make sure the dimensions are set to largest available and quality to 100% before saving the image. In Snapseed, you can find these in the app settings. Make sure the image size is set to do not resize and format quality to JPEG 100%. Though PNG can give far better quality, but it takes a lot of storage space. JPEG is a good compromise with lower file size and its extensive compatibility. So get these settings enabled for the best possible results. Subscribe for more and we'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.